Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So I wanted to do my top five favorite shows currently. So my first favorite show is called The Good Place and it's starring Christian Bell as Eleanor Shellstrop. So if you've ever seen The Office, it sort of reminds me of that. It has like a heaven and hell based concept. So it stars Christian Bell, like I said, as Eleanor Shellstrop. So she wakes up in The Good Place. So it's this world's version of heaven. And how do you get it into The Good Place? Well, you have to be a good person in life. So every action in your life either has a positive or a negative outcome. And at the end of your life, all those outcomes get added up and you either get into the good place or the bad place. So all this is being explained by Michael, who basically made this whole world up. He's known as the architect in this world. And he explains to Eleanor how she died and he gives her a tour of the world. And it starts off really, really good. I really recommend it a five out of five on my scales and possibly one of my favorite shows out of all this year that I've stumbled across. Okay, so my second favorite show I wanted to talk about was Let's Go Dragon Ball. Okay, so it's basically the OG version of Dragon Ball. So it starts off with Goku-san. Uh, Goku, <laughs> the guy. But anyway, this is Kid Goku and he's basically in the forest just fighting off animals, just trying to get food. He meets Bulma. So Bulma is a city girl and she has all this futuristic technology and Goku has like, lived alone for a long time and he was in the forest. Like he doesn't know of any new technology. And especially if you pull out a capsule thing that if you toss into the air, it can turn into a car, a house, a boat, whatever you need. At first, Goku thought she was a witch and she would got like black magic. But then they figured things out and she explained to him, you know, and still didn't really believe her at first until they started going on more adventures and he started getting more experience of the actual world and just getting stronger and stronger so it's a really good show sorry about that <laughs> but it's a really good anime show if you just want to get started off both versions the dub and the sub versions are good i do not hate on people who watch either one you can watch whatever you like either way you're enjoying that anime content. The next show I want to talk about is Lucifer. So Lucifer is a show, it's like a detective-based series. So it's based off of a DC comic, Lucifer Morningstar, who is the son of the DC's world's version of God. And he is the strongest people in all of the DC's universe. But then they bring him to the TV world. He's not as strong, but again, he is still pretty, pretty strong, you know? He's bulletproof, you know, he can't really die. He's immortal, you know, but anyway, they doled him down a lot for the TV show like they do for a lot of superheroes in general, but this is not really a superhero based show. So that's why I kind of put it out there. If you really don't like superhero shows, I'm trying to like do things that are kind of like user friendly, you know, you kind of just can watch it without having to love too much of that genre. But anyway. You have Lucifer, and he's basically a club owner, and he meets his detective, and they start, you know, become they become friends, sort of at first. You know, it takes a little bit of time. It's sort of rough, but it's another comedy, and it's really, really funny, and, you know, you guys should watch it. Okay, the next thing, the next, the next, the next one. Dun -dun -dun. The next show is Legion. So it's an FX series, again, based on a comic book, but also like lucifer he does not have as much power so it has david around the main character so legion if you know what legion the word means the root of the word is just basically of many you know militaries used it a lot back in the day and all that sort of stuff but dc's universe version of legion is the son of professor x and he has multiple personalities and all those personalities are inside of his head and you can see them like if you've ever seen the comics but each one of those personalities has a different power and Legion has, the number of personalities is unknown. So he literally has an unknown amount of power. He's an omega level mutant and he's super, super strong. So in the show, he is super strong. We do see he's telekinetic, you know, try to do, it spoil too much of his powers because it's going to kind of spoil some of the plot points, but he is really, really strong in the show as well. Just not as strong as, he's probably stronger than Lucifer's version, like compared to the comic book version, but nowhere near omega level in the tv adapted version of the show but david starts off at a mental asylum he gets visited by his sister you know it's his birthday if you like audrey plaza she's also in this show so you know it's just a really good show i really recommend it again another superhero show but that's not really superhero based okay and my last show el ultimo 
El último y mi favorito is the Umbrella Academy. So obviously this was such a popular show and it has so many different Easter eggs. It starts off with these seven kids who get adopted by a really wealthy man and they all have superpowers. So again, this show, if I keep on going on about it, I'm going to spoil too much, but this has a five out of five on my scale and this is a perfect way to end the video. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please remember to like and subscribe and leave any sort of comments down below of your favorite shows. If you've seen any of these shows and any new recommendations, because I'm looking for new shows on any of the subscriptions, Hulu, Netflix, HBO Max, whichever one I got, you know, I got it all. Disney Plus, we good. I'm just trying to watch some new shows because I've been bored lately. So please stay safe, happy, and remember, good vibes only. Mm -hmm.